Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Todd the Gator, and I'm one of the co-hosts of Guardian Downcast, a Destiny podcast for new and veteran Destiny players alike, where we talk Destiny, hear the stories of our Destiny community out there, news, contests, so much more to list. I really can't get into it here. But if you want to tune in to a unique Destiny podcast, check us out. And don't forget to join our awesome Discord community, where you'll always get a warm welcome. We have all levels of gamers there, from the United States to Australia, from new lights to veterans. So check us out. I promise you won't regret it. I've played over 3,500 hours of Destiny 2 and several thousand more in the original Destiny game since the beta released in early of 2014. And I'm on a mission to help new and returning Guardians pick apart the intricacies of this game Destiny 2. I'm slowly building a library of reference videos, so please subscribe for future additional content. Okay, on to today's video. For new and returning players, you might have noticed this little orb that talks to you all the time and conveniently revives you after the enemies finally knock you on your butt. As I'm sure you already know, this is your ghost. A gift from the Traveler that aids you wherever you go in this world that is called Destiny 2. You might not know, however, is that this little guy isn't just for decoration anymore. As of the Beyond Light expansion, ghosts now provide utility and quality of life improvements in the game. I tell you what, I don't do anything in Destiny 2 without the appropriate ghost mod equipped. How to get these mods, what mods work best for your situation, and what benefits they provide is what I'm going to cover today. So buckle up. Okay, first things first. If you inspect your ghost, right now, go ahead, I'll wait. What you'll notice is that there's 10 slots that you have to unlock. These slots will cost you a one-time purchase price of a combination of Glimmer, Legendary Shards, and Enhancement Cores. Don't worry, it's not too expensive, and it's well worth the cost. This is the first thing you want to unlock on your Ghost Shell, and it's called Master Working. Okay, got that done? Alright, great. Now let's get into the mods themselves. Think of your ghost now as a toolbox. You know, that red box with all the drawers in it. Alright, so your ghost now has four mod sockets available to you. And let's call them the four drawers, okay? The top drawer, or the first mod socket, is referred to as the experience mods. These mods range from flickering light, which provide you a little 2% bump in anything you do in the world as experience or XP, to blinding light which gives you a 12% bump in experience and XP for anything you do. Think of these mods as the hammer in the toolbox. You know, because you want to hammer out more experience. Am I right? Yeah, uh, no? Uh, okay. The mods range as 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12% more experience or XP. At the beginning of the season, these mods will help you unlock that great season pass bar. And, you know, everybody likes to see the bar go up. All right, enough said. Now your next drawer down, or your second mod socket, is called your tracking mods. I love, love, I love these mods. Especially if, if, you know, if I'm farming planetary materials and chests, or caches, whatever they want to call them. You know, in the patrol zones on different planets. Think of these mods as the screwdrivers in the toolbox. You will use them all the time for locating chests and planetary materials, these mods range in detecting planetary materials from 20 meters all the way up to 75 meters away from wherever you're walking, driving your sparrow around, anywhere in the world. There are also mods in this slot that detect caches or chests from 20 to 75 meters as well, wherever you roam. Now, here's the tracker mods that I like to use. There's two remaining mods that track planetary materials and chests within 40 and 50 meters respectively. But keep in mind, the higher the detection area, the more they're going to cost from your 10 ghost shell slots that you purchased or master worked. We good so far? All right, great. Your third drawer down, or third mod socket, is what I refer to as your pliers or adjustable wrenches in your toolbox. Am I overdoing it with the tool references yet? No? Okay. This mod socket is called your economic mods. Whenever you open a chest or pluck some planetary materials when roaming around the planets, 
You get a small amount of glimmer and planetary materials, and who doesn't like more of that, right? What these mods do is exactly that. They increase the amount of glimmer and planetary materials you can get from them. The range of more glimmer can be anywhere from 5 all the way up to 65%. If you've seen my fast glimmer farm video, I'll put it at the top of the video here where you can get it. You can get upwards of over 6,000 glimmer from one single chest. So check that one out. It's super easy. All right. Also in this slot is something Bungie just added recently, and that is called the Armorer Mods. What these mods do is instead of getting more glimmer and materials, you can get a guaranteed minimum 10 stat of a certain armor perk. In other words, mobility, resilience, recovery, strength, intellect, and discipline. These are all your armor perks or stats. I'll make a video about that later. Don't worry about it for now. But just know if you're trying to farm armor and get certain builds together, these mods are invaluable. But I wouldn't worry about those right now unless you're really into the end game or what I would call the long game where build crafting is your priority. For now, I would just use this slot for getting more glimmer or more materials. The very bottom drawer or final ghost mod socket is where you would find that specialized tool. You know, the tool you bought one time and you can't remember what it was used for. Am I right? Uh, no, it's just me then. Okay. This mod socket is referred to as the activity mod socket. This is where you can get certain rewards at the end of playlist style games like Crucible playlist, Gambit playlist, and the Vanguard Strike playlist. They range anywhere from more legendary weapon or armor drops, higher value crafting materials like enhancement cores, planetary materials, upgrade modules, and enhancement prisms. I know, Bungie needs to simplify all these resources, but just know that if, for instance, you're low on enhancement prisms, you can equip a Greater Core Harvest Crucible mod, and whenever you get a headshot in the Crucible, you have a chance to get an enhancement prism. Or say maybe when you win a Gambit match using the Modularity Gambit mod, you have a chance to get an upgrade module to, you know, to level up your gear. Again, don't beat yourself up on these things as they are more end or long game materials and rewards. But you can use these mods as long as you have masterworked your ghost. In other words, you've unlocked all 10 slots. Hey, I know that was a lot to cover today, but as a new or returning player, you may not have been taking advantage of these little extra perks in the game like us veteran players have. So now you know. By the way, I can hear it already. The next question I'm probably going to get is, uh, Gator, uh, where do I get these mods? I don't see all of them on my ghost. Yeah, 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 I hear you. As you play anything in the world of Destiny 2, you'll eventually begin to get legendary Ingram drops. Or maybe you rank up that Crucible vendor and start getting those legendary Ingrams that way. When you turn in these Ingrams, you'll begin to get some of these mods. I have actually gotten ghost mods from just opening chests in the various planets out there. So just have fun, explore and play the game, and eventually, you'll collect them all. And I assure you, Bungie's very generous about this. They want you to use all these mods, so jump in there, Guardian. Let's go. Bungie continues to add more and more creative ghost shells out there. So jump in. Start collecting them now. You won't regret it. And you'll get rewarded for the stuff you're already doing in the world of Destiny 2. This should help get you started. So let's go, Guardian. Hey, thanks for watching the video. And please hit that subscribe button. I know, I know everyone says that, but I really do mean it. My goal is to reach a thousand new and returning Destiny gamers out there and learning all the subtle things in this game in preparation of the release of Destiny 2 Lightfall, which will be here before you know it. And that release, by the way, is February 28th of next year. So help me out. I appreciate you. Take care of yourself and each other. And later, Guardian.